we give another characterization of adjoint situations in terms of representable presheaves. The goal is to create a dictionary between terms in the more general adjoint functor theorem with terms in presheaf categories. Then we can rephrase the more general adjoint functor theorem in terms of presheaves. We recall the following. One, a presheaf T is representable if and only if there exists some A object A and a natural isomorphism from the representable of A to T. Two, the Uneda embedding, which takes an A object to its representable, is full and faithful. And three, FG is in a joint situation if and only if there exists an isomorphism between the following HOM sets, which is natural in A and B. Then we can prove the following characterization of adjoint functors. G is adjoint if and only if for each B object B, the presheaf B, B, G on A is representable. In the forward direction, we have by three above, phi B is a natural isomorphism between the representable of FB and BBG. Therefore, the presheaf BBG is representable. Conversely, we need to construct a coadjoint F. So let B be a B object. Then by assumption, there exists an A object XB and a natural isomorphism phi B from the representable on XB to the presheaf BBG. Then given a B morphism F, we can compose by precomposition of F on the right and by the isomorphisms on the top and the bottom, giving us a morphism between the representables on the left. But by two above, this morphism must have come from a unique A morphism HF. So we can now set the functor F to take a B morphism F to HF. The preservation of composition and identity morphisms comes from the Uneda embedding again, and this makes phi B a natural isomorphism. Therefore, FG is an adjoint situation, and that completes the proof.